all right all right all right what's up peeps munchy here back with another video and guess what google has just released android 14 developer preview one and this one my dear friends is code named upside down okay here it is you can see that the build number is upp1.230113.009 and before you ask me hey manchi what about the easter egg well the easter egg here is still from android 13 they haven't changed the easter egg next up if you are in about phone you will notice that the phone number your eid is a new field but it is not showing by default and the same thing applies for your imei as well so you have to tap to show all that information on android 13 if you go into settings and about phone these fields are visible without you having to tap to show them now only if they could do it for the email id as well that would be super helpful next up if i go into settings and system and now if i go to my home screen and i do the same thing on this device over here on the left this is the google pixel 6a running android 13 if i go back into settings i am on the main page of settings however in android 14 developer preview 1 if i go back into settings you see i am in system settings so i think this might be related to your predictive back gesture now predictive back gesture is not enabled out of the box on this build but there are some hidden flags which once you enable you can enable the predictive back gesture and as you can see on your screen right now here's a demo of how it might look courtesy of michal rahman Next up, if you go into the connected devices option and here, and if you go into connection preferences, you will notice a new option called fast pair. And before you ask me, hey Manji, what is this fast pair feature? Well, with your Bluetooth turned on and fast pair enabled, if there is any Bluetooth device nearby, it is going to recognize it and ask you if you want to pair with it without you having to go through the hoops of going into settings, connected devices, connection preferences, Bluetooth, and then trying to pair a new Bluetooth device with your Android smartphone. Then if you go into the battery section and here and if you go into battery usage for starters you will notice that with android 14 developer preview one you have your screen on time over here and then you also have a drop down for the breakdown of your battery usage so you can say breakdown by apps or breakdown by system here on android 13 system usage for full charge with respect to your system apps is a separate option on the bottom other than that if you go back to the main page of battery settings and then if you go into battery saver here and you will notice that you have radio buttons to choose between basic battery saver and extreme battery saver if you go into the extreme battery saver settings you can choose whatever applications you want to run over there and then set a schedule has been renamed to schedule and reminder if i go inside here you can enable or disable the specific toggles and you also have something like battery saver reminder which i think is a new feature and adaptive battery has also moved into the battery saver section in android 13 it is present under adaptive preferences along with adaptive charging but it has moved over with android 14 developer preview one next up if you go into display and then if you go into your display size and text you will notice that the number of steps here for your font size have increased with android 14 developer preview one on android 13 the maximum size you can go to is 130 percent but with android 14 they're saying you can go up to 200 percent so that is another change but another thing is your display size the steps have reduced from five to four now i'm not sure whether that is because of the device difference or that is an intended change with android 14. next up if you go into your system options and then you go into multiple users you will notice that with android 14 developer preview one you have a new toggle which says allow guest to use 
phone now what does this do well for starters i think it is worded wrong the guest is already using the phone but what it will do is it will let the guest user make and receive phone calls and send and receive text messages which is why they mentioned that call history will be shared with the guest user but i think they need to change it to something more appropriate for the main menu option now while we are talking about multiple users there is another hidden feature hidden behind a flag in android 14 developer preview one wherein when you add another user you can make that user the admin of your device and this newly added admin can actually modify the settings of your device factory reset it and manage other users next up if you enable developer options on your android device running android 14 developer preview one and go into the nfc section you will notice that you have two new toggles for nfc first one is nfc verbose vendor debug log and the second one is nfc nci unfiltered log these i think will be helpful for developers who are debugging issues with nfc then scrolling a bit down in your developer options you will see another new toggle which is disable child process restrictions now i'm not much of an android developer to know what this option is going to do but i'm pretty sure it will be helpful for the android developers out there then there have been some changes with respect to your side loading apks or installing apps targeting older android versions so if you try to install an app which targets api level 27 or lower which means android 8.1 or older you are going to get a warning however if that app is targeting android api level 22 or below then you cannot ignore the warning you will be blocked outright next up is another major feature which will be pretty awesome for those who are concerned about privacy now this feature right now is hidden behind a flag but remember how with android 13 instead of giving an application permission to your storage google said that hey if you want photos and videos or we want music and audio so they separated this and they also added something called a photo picker now with android 14 they might force applications to use that photo picker which they introduced in android 13 what does this mean this means that instead of an application having access to all your photos and videos you can actually give it access to specific photos and videos so a pretty awesome feature if it makes to the final build of android 14 another feature which is hidden behind a developer flag in this latest android 14 developer preview one is the ability to clone applications without creating a separate work profile so where will you find that option it will be in settings apps and you will see something called cloned apps here and you can choose whatever app you want to clone however google and other OEMs have the ability to prevent you from cloning certain apps and Google has their own list of applications like Gmail etc which they will not let you clone if and when this ability of cloning apps without a work profile is rolled out to the stable build of Android 14. Next up if you go into settings and then if you go into the app settings and then you go into the last option over here which is your special app access herein if you go into the last option which is turn screen on on android 14 developer preview one you will notice there are no apps over here whereas on android 13 there are a bunch of apps why is this well that is because android 13 over here on the left is displaying applications which have access to the wake lock permission whereas with android 14 it is going to display all the applications which have access to a new permission called turn screen on next up if you head into the accessibility settings and scroll down you will see a new option called hearing devices now once you go into this option of hearing devices it will take you to the pairing page of bluetooth but hidden somewhere behind the developer flag are the options of a hearing device shortcut and pairing a new hearing aid as well along with a toggle for hearing aid compatibility next up if you have set up your 
Android device with two SIMs, say a physical SIM and an eSIM. If you go into your network settings, you will see a new toggle being added with Android 14 Developer Preview 1, which is going to switch mobile data automatically if your network is better on either of those SIMs. So switching data when you have low coverage on one SIM and good coverage on the other one can be seamless once you have enabled this toggle. Then if you go into security and privacy, you will notice that the drop down options have disappeared. Here on Android 13 on the left, you will notice that device lock has a drop down option. If I select that, I get the options. Here on Android 14 developer preview one, if I go inside device lock, this is the menu which I am getting. Me personally, I prefer this style wherein you can be on the same page and get the other options, but to each the own. Next up, if we head into system settings and then if we go into reset options, you will notice that with Android 14 developer preview 1, the options have been split up. On Android 13, you have reset, Wi-Fi, mobile and Bluetooth as a single option. On Android 14 developer preview 1, you have reset mobile network settings as one option and then reset Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is a separate option. Then if you are someone who doesn't like carriers or OEMs installing bloatware in the background when you're setting up your Android device, well, Android 14 has a new feature which will let you track these apps installed in the background so that you can uninstall them. Now, unfortunately, this feature is also hidden behind special developer flags, but you can see the screenshots on your screen right now. And this will be part of a new system service called background install control which is going to track any apps which are installed silently on your device in the background it is going to list them so that you can uninstall them if needed next up we have a feature called advanced memory protection this one is also hidden behind a developer flag so what is advanced memory protection going to do well it is going to protect you against memory safety bugs on compatible devices and in case you want to know more about memory safety about memory tagging extension and about this new android 14 feature called advanced memory protection you can find an article about that in the description of this video Next up, if you are in settings and you go into about phone and then you go into the option of legal information, you will notice you have a new option called source code in Android 14. It is going to give you details about the source code of components made available as open source and they can be found in the pixel help center. Once you select this option, it will open the default browser and take you to a web page giving you links to download the Android source code. Next up, let us talk about root certificates. So if you ever go into settings, security and privacy, and here and if you go into more security settings than encryption and credentials, you will see something called trusted credentials. So these are all the root certificates which are installed on your device. Now, if you've been following the news, you would know that sometime around late last year, root certificates from Samsung, MediaTek, LG were leaked and compromised, which means that third party malicious people could sign the system apps and you could get system apps updated from people who were not supposed to have those certificates or from people other than say Samsung, LG and MediaTek. The problem with Android before the release of Android 14 was that to update these root certificates, you would need an over the air update. But with Android 14, they have made sure that Google can push out updates to root certificates via Google Play without having to wait for the OEM to send you an over the air update. Now again, in case you want to know more about root certificates, we do have a pretty awesome article linked in the description of this video. 
Next up, if you are a fitness freak, you would know that not all apps have all the information which you need. Sometimes you need to connect those apps to another fitness app so that you can get the health information you need. So to make this process easier, Google came up with something called Health Connect, which lets one fitness app communicate with another fitness app easily. Now with Android 14, this Health Connect feature is baked into the operating system and it doesn't have to be downloaded explicitly from the play store so if i go into settings and then if i go into security and privacy and tap on privacy you will see that i have the option of health connect over here on android 14 whereas on my device over here on the left hand side which is running android 13 we do not have the option of health connect and there it is peeps that is what was new in the latest android 14 developer preview one and of course if i did miss out on any feature which you find in this developer preview build of android 14 do let me know via comments below